In this week's Fast Model Play of the Week, I took a side out of bounds play that was prompted from watching some games during the NC2A tournament where teams could not get the ball inbounds. So as I learned a long time ago when I started coaching, the most important thing on a side or under out of bounds play or versus full court pressure is you have to get the ball inbounds. This is a very simple set that I've used for years that I think you might like. We just call it box and it's a box set. The player that's really a dangerous player that can put the ball on the floor, that can shoot the ball, takes the ball out of bounds. Good shooter you want opposite and low away from the ball. Your best ball handler you want to be in this position because you want him to be able to get the ball inbounds. So there's several things we can do, but the key is, is that I want all four of these players to be potential receivers to get the ball inbounds. Okay, so as we slap the ball, okay, here's the movements by everyone. Turn by five and pick. Three flies off to the three-point line. Five seals and comes back to the ball. Terrific with five, six seconds to go. This play works great because you can get the ball directly into this player and score. Four screens away for one. Now again, late game situation after timeout. The key on this play is that they're going to try to deny the ball to one. So what we do on this play, our first look is to come hard to the basketball, change direction, and go for a lob. There's no weak side help. And as that happens, four comes back to the ball and is able to receive the inbounds pass from two. As soon as that happens, one spots up in the corner and he just flies off and gets a hand back from four. Turns the corner for shot drive, kick to the corner for three, or four is open on a step back. It's a neat thing, all kinds of options. That's just a basic on that. So you have a pass to the corner and feed the post. You go directly into the post, backdoor lob, or you hit the four man coming back, sprint off, hand back, and score. You have to be able to score without calling a timeout late in the game, calling a play out, and your players can execute under pressure.